You hear me? Go ahead, move this microphone. Test, test, one, two, test, test. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you hear what I said? What'd she's you reading good shit. I said, you said, did she read your script? I said, no, she's reading good shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think we start the show with that. So, all right. Good morning. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning. <laughs> uh, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm totally being honest, you know, man, because uh, I, I was trying, I was hell bent on going, I'm going to get 10 episodes. And then I started writing number nine and I went, Dude, it's, it's done. There's nothing for him to, there's nothing left for him to do. And, it's funny because is there you sure about that? Well, for me, <laughs> for me, there's nothing left because I went back and I started listening to, uh, as I was writing some old Charlie Crockett, which he's a young up and comer Colton wall. And I, I wanted the feel of the spaghetti Western. So I looked up some, uh, how to color grade for the look that I want a little kind of yeah. like your no country for old men, three ten to Yuma. And I went, you know what? I'm going to shoot this like a modern day Western. And mm -hmm. I went back and started listening to that tangy country. And you'll see in there, I put, yeah, I put awesome. songs that go in there. And I went, that's what, that's what Tarantino does. He finds the music first and then, you know, finds that. And I went, I'm going to, and after we had our talk, I went, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to do that. Cause I was like, this dude is a, this, this is this set like a no country for old men, modern day, not Western, yeah. but Western feel to me. Well, so, so I had, I had a question for, you. I thought of it in the, in the, I guess I thought of it last night. So I'm going to put you on the spot just a little, little bit. I know I ain't going to make you mad. I ain't worried about that, but I'm going to put you yeah, on go. a little bit. So in the past, you write something and you want me to clean it up, and then you'll write it, and then you'll say, "Here, clean it up." Before I can even get a chance to, you're already scheduling to shoot it, and then oh, like, no, he, he's already going to yeah. shoot it. So ain't no doubt. So are you going to be able to hold your nut while I clean it up a little bit? Yeah, because remember, and we started this. We went, dude. Let's not let's not rush it. Let's let's look for September. So I didn't plan anything to the end of September that I felt like we could shoot because I wanted to make sure once the script was done, we sat down and went through the pre-production or, and, and found these locations. I have where they are, I think. And I really wanted to concentrate on a little bit more wardrobe. I want to look at some different cars instead of the same stuff we use. So um, unfortunately, unfortunately for you, I might have slowed down and changed a little to where I want to do it right. <laughs> well, see, the thing is, 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 is like before, you know, you, you, we've talked about it before. You, you like to do a little scene, you get an idea in your hand, you just go and shoot it. And it's just like a scene, really. It's not even really a story. Correct. It's a scene. And you went and shot them and for, they are what they are. And you watch it and you just, for that little bit, you watch the scene. That's it. If somebody's looking for a story, then that, that's not no. what they are. No. Right now, that's kind of the same thing you got. You got scenes. There ain't no. You tried to put a unifying deal through all of it, but it ain't. It, it needs a little. It needs to be. Yeah, my kind of only tie to get, my only tie together of all that is Roy. And the money, it's just money and, and the money. Roy. That's money it. And that's Roy. it. Yeah. So we need to kind of clean it up so it's a little more. Because yeah, there we, is. I don't think there's a middle beginning and end. There's just it starts no. and there's Roy. And you're just following Roy during the, whatever Roy's doing. So, uh, and that's why, that's why, yeah, when uh, you're absolutely right, man. I, I in the past would go, okay, well, uh, let's shoot this. Let's get this yeah. shot. Let's get this shot. Well, now the way I was thinking about it was I was like, okay, the end and the beginning can be shot at the same time at night. How, however we change it, it doesn't matter to me. I, I'm looking at now, okay, I only got to use these guys this time, so yeah. that's good. So when you're cleaning it up, whatever you do and say, how can I minimize our shooting days to where I might, hey, Hope, can you come back out here tomorrow because we're going to shoot again tomorrow. Right. I'm, I'm trying to do that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I'm trying to be professional. Well, that's weird. <laughs> well, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do something for people listening or watching on YouTube. Either way, however they're getting this show, I'm gonna do something that happens all the time, so they'll get an idea, a better idea of what happens. So I'm way behind on Yellowstone, so don't spoil another for me. But I'll watch it. Well, if you know, don't spoil it for me or anybody watching that, because I'm, I'm at, I'm at like, I just finished seven. 
So I think I got yeah. nine, 10 left to watch. You need to go to YouTube. This is exactly what happens all the time, people. You need to go to YouTube and look up Yellowstone Trailer House Shootout. It is so up your alley. It is. I thought Russell Clay had staged that scene when I watched that show. It's kind of like the mobile home in um, Wind, Wind River. River. But I think a little different and not quite as tense, not as much set up. But the, the whole deal is this guy, they, they're going to look at this trailer and they get on a bulletproof vest and the main guy keeps telling this other guy, hey, he's got a side to the, to the mobile home. He says, turn your chest, turn your chest. And he turns and just as he turned, boom, shotgun comes through, hits him in the, in the chest. Blows him back. Blows him back. The other guy's at the door. He's got a vest on too. He gets shot through the door. He's blown back. And then he's for turning fire through the wall. I think they're shooting through the wall. And then that guy comes out. He kind of goes the length of the mobile home. The guy comes out the door and he, I mean, he rapid fires and just dumps mag dumps on that guy and kills him. Well, you remember, you remember, I mean, you know, it's Taylor Sheridan writing it. So, yeah. uh, he just took the mobile home fight he liked and just made it a little bit different. But it's so. It, I thought Russell Clay, Clay was the uh, was the was the stuntman. He man, should have. He should have. He should have been uh, Yellowstone Shootout. Um, at mobile home. And at the end, I guess the guy's daughter comes. She sees him. She's crying, and he's like, "Oh crap! I just killed this guy in front of his daughter." Whatever. But the guy was a maniac. But they kill Yellowstone in every scene. Somebody gets screwed. Or killed, or decide, or they have cancer, or their land almost is taken away. Every scene, it don't matter. Uh, Chris had said the same thing, man. That's why he didn't. Uh, it, that's why he was like, "Yeah, it was all right." Stephanie finished it. I'll, it I'll finish with, it this week. It ain't with some bike. It ain't with some bikers, is it? Do what? No, it, it's just like a them versus one guy in a house. He's just, the guy's dressed like a cowboy or redneck or something. You'll find uh, it. You'll, I know. I'm you'll see for it. it. But anybody, anybody uh, watching this, that's exactly how we uh, we get scenes and ideas and things like oh that. Oh my god, absolutely. We were we really did love Wind River. Remember that? That she oh, yeah. got, she got blown off the deal and it was more I like more the realistic close up shooting, you know what I mean, where what would really happen if you go watch you two and the police mm-hmm. shootouts, they're not, they're not one shot, one kill. And, and that we, that's how we do it, man. Yeah. I mean, Sicario, I did like that one. Uh, again, that's Taylor I, Sheridan. You like all the Taylor Sheridan stuff. All the Taylor Sheridan stuff that he does to me in a shootout stuff, as far as action, I enjoy. Now, one thing I don't do is, sit down and watch. Oh, Stephanie said this yesterday. I am so excited about Fargo, but I will not watch any other episodes, uh, episodic television. None. The only thing I've watched is Fargo Mm -hmm. last year, the last three years and Fargo coming up. And I'm excited about that. The trailer September 27th. And I wonder why that is. And I told her, she wondered why that is. And I told her, I watch the scenes. Like you'll tell me just then go watch the shootout. You don't care about the story. You just watch the shootout because that's all I'm ever thinking about. I ain't thinking about a story, uh-huh. you know, how Hoke's going to get up and live and die. I'm thinking about at what point does Hoke get so fed up that he goes on a rampage and starts shooting people to save somebody. About three o'clock or, a day. About three. <laughs> <laughs> and I think people don't understand that. I don't, I am not a storyteller. Yeah, I, I, I'm a, a guy that just sees my story starts when they kick the door in and when he's dead or everybody's dead, and he walks out. You're my story's corner. over. Yeah, that's the whole – that's what I love doing. That's what I'm getting ready to do when I go back to Phoenix. We're going to do another one. We just did that Western, and George called me in October, and it's like, dude, will you come start coordinate this? It's kind of like a live or die, but it's written by some people in L.A., so it's way better than what I could write. Mm. And I was like, well, hell yeah, buddy. When, when, that, that's the when, dream. when does that happen? End of October. Uh, we're going to go look at a uh, some locations. I'm going out next on September the 15th to watch the final cut of the Western. And then uh, 
going to some location. It's only going to be gone two days. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I think if 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 you'd went Hollywood in that kind of system, you'd be uh, on the stunt team somehow, stunt coordinator. Oh, that's all I would care to do. Whatever. And I think if you got to the age where you couldn't do that anymore, you would be like recruiting people and training people and for the Remember stunt that, I, I, I would be the one eight seven eleven David. Uh, the two directors that did John Wick, yeah. I'd be that guy. I'd be standing behind them, going, "Hey, okay, let's uh, let's make sure you kick kicked in the face, not me." And well, I mean, you, I mean, uh, 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 I mean, I don't, I'm not an expert on the on the process, but the reason why Marvel action scenes all look like the same, no matter who the director is, is because they got the same stamp stunt teams. Going, yeah, that's the whole that's the whole thing. That's coordinator. A, that's exactly right. It's the same guys, most of them. I mean, just think, Chris. Evans' stunt guy for Captain Marvel is Sam Hargrave. Sam Hargrave just did Extraction. He yeah. did the hallway scene and shot the hallway scene and coordinated it in Atomic Blonde. So, yeah. you know, you you have that. Deadpool had the same uh, stunt team. So it's that same crew of stunt coordinators and directors that right. came out of uh, 1811 or 18711. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I think the, the I think I told you before, if anybody, there was a behind the scenes on the movie um, uh, Edge of Tomorrow, Tom Cruise, Live, Die, Repeat. And uh, I think I told you this when I watched it. There's a, I watched a making of the director. And they, they show them out there in the field where they've done those, like, trenches where they're fighting yeah. the in those trenches. And the director's just kind of standing there, and it's the stunt coordinator walking through what the action is. The director's like, oh, okay, I see it. Yeah, okay, I see it. And that's exactly, I think, the relationship. You know, that's our relationship. Or our relationship. I'm kind of like, yeah, okay, cool. On that part. And then it comes to the story. I'm the guy talking, then you're going, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, slips. I, I do remember when we were talking in uh, Cowboy and Lucky, I think, uh, the last stand, me and you were talking, and you went, I don't care how he gets to this point right here. And I think it was when uh, we were fighting in Cowboy's the glass is behind him right here blowing and he leans over because that's where he had the line and you went, yeah. I don't care how he gets to this point. I just need him at this point to say right. this line. And I'm like, okay, well, good. Then he can do this, this, and this, this, and then right. all that shit happens. But I need him to be right here looking that way to say this line. Right. Like, okay. Yeah. And I think that's the easiest way for people to understand how we, how we do it because. Yeah. I don't care about that line and that look that means so much to people of where the character's at. I'm just trying to get him to that point. Right. Yeah. So it's a, it's a team ever. I mean, yeah, I mean, I watched that special the other day, a document or a YouTube video. I don't know why I call it anything but YouTube video. I watched a YouTube video the other day. Yeah. They talked about on Raiders Lost Star, how they made the melting face at the end. I think I've seen that. Yeah. And I mean, that was a guy that went off. He was like in his early twenties, and he was one of the, on the on the prop team or whatever FX team. And he went and figured out how to do it. I mean, you just, everybody you watch the movie, you go, oh, Steven Spielberg's a genius. Look at that. But I mean, all yeah. he did was shoot it. I mean, he didn't really yeah. do that scene. <laughs> you know what I mean? And like when just, Bill, the, the the truck chase in Raiders Lost Ark, yeah, Spielberg was sick. He wasn't even there. They he just had he had a. Uh, uh, he had what do you call it? What do you draw it? Um, I'm drawing sketchbook huh? or uh, uh, storyboard. Storyboard of it, and they just, and, and I think even the airplane deal where they fight the airplane and go in the truck. That whole sequence, the, uh, the 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 I think it was the first AD and the stunt team uh, directed it. They just went and took his storyboard and did it because he was. He sick. never goes. He never goes to the final shot either. Like in Jaws when they blew up the final scene, he never stays for the final scene. Somebody else does it. Yeah, I saw a deal on that. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. He gets on plane, leaves to the next project. Well, the other thing is, 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 is everybody assumes those people are genius. He did every part of that movie, and it's not true. It's a collaborative deal. I mean, it's a it is a mother effing team effort. Now, the only thing different that we're doing here is one, we're shooting it on the phone with the moment anamorphic lens, so we're going to shoot it kind of that stretched. Not as super stretch as I usually have because I, I figured out why that was super stretched. I had I hadn't already cropped anyway. I don't get into that too much technical shit, but <laughs> it's a little different because now me and you can talk on the shots that we're doing, and we're not having to really focus on 
technical stuff because we know the lens has not got a lot of vo uh, depth. We know what we're, we know what we're doing. So it's not like we need a red camera and stuff. We're doing this for YouTube, for Facebook mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So, and the, and it looks good in camera. And that last scene I wrote, I literally wanted it to be a two shot that never moved. Okay. I wanted, I wanted it to be a play. So when you think about that, I wanted it to set the mood there and it stays, they stay in the frame, but they have to do the whole thing in the frame. So the actors block, the camera wasn't going to move. So I do want to try that. If, if, if you write it and go, Hey dude, it needs, we need a, we need this for this, then we'll, we'll do, we'll do it different. But I need, I didn't want to move it at all. You know me, I like that seventies way of making movies. So that camera. Oh was, my gosh, dude, this is it. This is it. This two is shots and that. wide shots and stuff this like is that. Almost I it. That. I, and I even looked at a vintage, uh, some vintage, like I told you before we started the color grading to get that, that Western feel, even though it's in modern times. Yeah. You know, I love the color grading in no country for old men, especially when he's out looking at those guys and finds that money. Oh, and that's yeah. crazy. That gets, that gets, that's the exciting. That's the stuff I like. Well, Yellowstone is a modern day, like Bonanza, basically just with a lot more sex and violence. And that's basically because every day is a crisis. No human could withstand all the <laughs> crisis that happened in Yellowstone. You, you'd have already killed yourself or be in a mental ward. If you had to endure uh, everything that happens in that show. I, I, thought, I remember Chris watching I think he was at season three. He's like, dude, I cannot believe that they, they, they don't have enough people in town, as many people that die. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Death must be just, I mean, there's characters that die they don't even mention again. I mean, that one chick had her assistant, like, killed. And I, you know, it was like, I mean, if you had an assistant <laughs> die in your office, that'd be something that'd stick with you for a while. I mean, they don't, even, they ain't remembering now. But I, where I go with this is, what is what is this deal? So if Yellowstone is a modern day Bonanza, what is this deal? We'll end with what that. is what is Roy? Yeah. Uh, is it uh, Waco, John Wick? <laughs> John Waco. <laughs> It's John Waco. Waco Wick? No, it's it's good, the bad, the Chris. <laughs> if you really think about it, we are doing the good, the bad, the ugly of Sergio Leone, of, of Eastwood with Chris right here because okay. he's got good in him. He's a bad dude, and sometimes he just does ugly stuff to get the job done, in yeah. my opinion. That's, that's what we're doing. I'm going with that. I'm going with that. The good, so, the, bad. <laughs> the good, the bad, the Chris. <laughs> He'll watch this and go, you sons of bitches. Uh, but I, I, I feel like that's what it is. I, I, it's our version of a, a spaghetti Western set in 2020. Yeah, I'm good with that. I'm good with that. I'm going to keep thinking of that. That helps me when I'm cleaning up to kind of put, put something toward. That's another thing. Is you and I, I mean, we, you and I always kind of take a, a project or two. And Cowboy and Lucky, the last name was Lead the Weapon, too. We kept thinking, Correct. well, Thank let's just kind of that. model it after that. And that, and that's kind of what we did. We just modeled after Lead the Weapon. I mean, it has the whole trailer. <laughs> we even did the trailer house. <laughs> we did the same thing. Yeah. And you ever, do you ever wonder? I wonder I wonder how other people do it that, that might not do like we do, that tell everything that there's no way, no way unless it's a horror deal that people aren't taking from cinema, some things from cinema that they liked and putting into their project. Oh, that's Quentin Tarantino's whole career. And, and they, yeah, and he, t he tells you, especially with all the kill bill, cause he loved the Japanese. Yeah. I mean, I don't uh, know if you watch the Kung Fu movies. I don't know if you watch Ad Astro, the Brad Pitt, it's apocalypse now in space. That's exactly what it I is. didn't watch the movie yet. Did you like it? That's nah, boring as hell. It's, uh, okay, it's good, not, it doesn't even make right. sense. So it got plot holes in it that don't even make sense. Good, but, I don't uh, watch it. It looks great. I mean, the effects are great, but uh, it didn't make it's not it's boring. But anyway, that you could it's literally they hit the same beats as Apocalypse Now. And I was like, I was watching, I'm like, I'm, I think I watched it with Trish. Like, it's Apocalypse Now. There and you go. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's that that that's kind of the deal. There's no everything's visual now and. 
I mean, look at look how good Quibi's taken off. Yeah. And it's because we don't want to watch two hours unless we go into the theater or sitting down in front of your chair. You know what I mean? I, until football starts, my TV only just goes on something. I kind of leave it there. I watch YouTube. and so I'm with you. I don't do anything. I'm ready for football. When football uh, starts, then I'll actually watch TV more. Yeah, I was watching I was watching college football Saturday. All right, well, go do your stuff. And we did good today, man. I really, I really am. I am excited to shoot this at, at the end of September or whenever you finish. I want it to be right. something we that we can go, dude, this was a good one. Well, um, I'll just have to, now that you call it your part done, I'll just take it and lay it out. I got to chop it up and just. Yep. It's like a, you gave me the parts to make a salad. Now I got to mix it all together. Yeah. There's all your, I was going to say pizza, but since you're trying to be healthy, there you go. I had to. I had to. Yeah. And, I did, and for work, I do a lot of lunch meetings. I don't know how that's going to go. <laughs> we'll figure that out. You're going to have to pre, pre-eat, pre-eat. That way you can just like, uh, you don't have to, you don't have to eat. You can just like, I just got my shake. I just, I want to work out routine. You can do all that. That's easy. Yeah. All right. Well, holler at me later. All right. Bye, folks.